start by saying congratulations on winning the state award for best actress. Thank you. You know there is a Purvi in Irudarika Bittu. Just yesterday it was announced. Yes. Uh, what was your reaction to that? Um, I was shooting. I was uh, shooting in Kantiara studio yesterday. And um, my friend Anusha sent a message. We have a friend group on WhatsApp. So one of my friends is here. Last year is here. So she, <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> so uh, she, sent, she sent a screenshot of um, a document. And then um, she said, congrats me. And that congratulation was very, you know, like, congrats me. I was like, why is she congratulating me? I was like, okay, I'll send the message later. And I finished the shot and I came. I saw the message again and um, opened the picture. And there it was written, Atyutta Manati, Ivarshal Atyutta Manati, Meg Naraj. My hands and feet were cold. It is, it is completely unexpected. And, you know, uh, it's just the beginning of the year. And uh, 2020 seems to be amazing. <laughs> Indeed, it's amazing. And I have a question. Uh, Purvi, as a character, is a very unconventional character for an actress to pick. Uh, she's in a living relationship and unwed mother. She's under depression as well. So what made you choose this character? Purvi is not me. So I think... Uh, there were no similarities. There was nothing I could connect to. So that is what made me choose the character. It's easier to play characters, you know, which you can relate to, which, you know, like, because uh, when you do the mannerisms on screen, it's very easy, you know, because you put yourself, uh, you, you know, into the character and then, you know, it's like, you just being yourself. But Puri is nothing like me in real life. So I was like, this is definitely a challenge for me. And uh, it's going to be quite complex for me to play that character. So I was like, okay, that's... Initially, I was very skeptical, you know, to accept the film. I said, at this point in my career, you know, something so complex, something so controversial, actually. Uh, I don't think I can, you know, handle this role. But it was my director, Kanta Kanali, who said, no, you have to do this film, man. You just have to do it. And he waited. He waited for five months. And uh, I was like, no, I don't think I'll do the film. This is not a film for me. But uh, today everybody knows that I think it was meant to be. And that was that one reason, you know, that I could not connect to the character. That is what made me play the character. So are you saying that if you're uncomfortable with something, you should still go ahead and do it and, you know, you can learn from that experience? See, sometimes the comfort, uh, sometimes breaking out of your comfort zone, you know, uh, opens up bigger opportunities and that's the biggest challenge in everybody's life. It is easy to, you know, be in a place where you're very comfortable and uh, you will never grow sitting in one place. So, you know, like today I'm comfortable doing something and if I just keep doing that, it's going to become routine, it's going to become, you know, very uh, stagnant for me. So, for every individual, that's what I think. So once you break out of your comfort zone, that is when you can do something new. That is when you can actually achieve. That's brilliant. That is. Uh, so I'm sure this area is very familiar because you're a ball winning. You studied in ball winning girl in high yes. school. Yes. Uh, so what was it like for you growing up in Bangalore city? I'm a true Bangalorean. So for me, I think uh, I'm a true South Bangalorean. So. <laughs> So I think for me growing up in Bangalore, I think uh, it's been, uh, I've had the best childhood. I've, you know, like really enjoyed, uh, you know, being a, a Bangalorean and it's been quite, um, uh, what can I say? I, I think, you know, uh, being a South Indian itself is uh, one of the beauties of it. So, you know, being a Bangalorean, you know, how, how would you want me to describe it? It is amazing. I like Bangalore. I love Bangalore. Yeah, it's a feeling, isn't it? It's, it's a feeling. I don't really experience it. See, you know, being a Bangalorean is like this or like that. It's, it's just you are a Bangalorean. That's it. Oh. <laughs> uh, so your father is a Hindu and your mother is a Christian. So what was it like for you growing up in a family where you have two different religions in India? I'm an Indian, so... <laughs> My grandmother is a Muslim or it doesn't matter if, uh, you know, 
anybody new coming into the house is of any other religion. Religion has never mattered to me and uh, the only reason it's never mattered to me is because I've been brought up that way. My parents never forced their religion on me and uh, they've always made sure that I've had the best of both worlds. And I think the best of both worlds is always being an Indian. Absolutely. Very well said.